300 kilometres east of Darwin, North and South Goulburn Island are home to some of Australia's most untouched beaches. They're believed to be hotspots for endangered green turtles and critically endangered hawksbill turtles that use the beaches to nest and the seagrass to feed. Turtle, bill, one, it or for crabs, mud mussels, you name it, that lives here on the island. That's why people really love this little island. South Goulburn Island is known as Warrawee to around 400 people, most Aboriginal, who call it home. For generations, traditional owners have hunted turtles and foraged from the coast. It was a long beach we had where we had all this coconut and we used to come down to get those coconuts. But the Northern Territory's sea level is rising faster than most of Australia. And the Goulburn Islands are vulnerable to tropical cyclones which churn and swallow the sand. There's no more sand, only the rocks. And then I get starting to think, I said, oh, there's something wrong, you know, something eating the sand. Satellite data shows North and South Goulburn Island's shorelines have retreated by an average of 6.1 metres over the past three decades, including some turtle nesting beaches. Marabolk Marine Ranger Charmaine Minengirgir knows the country like the back of her hand, and she's worried the turtles are running out of space to nest. They come up trying to lay their eggs onto the hard grounds, but sometimes they don't make it. They go back to the sea and we don't know where they now laying their nests. Even if we're out there on the sea, we can't see any turtles popping out of the water. We only can see one or two and that's about it. She's enlisted researchers from Charles Darwin University to better understand how climate change is impacting the island's turtle populations. Um, so that's, what, three turtle nests we've yeah. seen so far today? Not a single one have laid eggs, yeah. which is very concerning. These hatchlings left the nest too late in the day and cooked on the beach. God, come back as a turtle ever. With fewer turtles laying, the team says unlucky accidents like these have an impact. It's always sad. I mean, the survival rate of a turtle hatchling to reach adulthood is one in a thousand. So any loss um, kind of unnecessarily uh, makes a, a pretty big dent in that. West of the Goulburn Islands at Bino Harbour, the researchers have used a technique dubbed turtle rodeo. They capture and tag turtles with satellite trackers to pinpoint where they come from and where they forage. It's a method they hope to replicate at the Goulburn Islands. There hasn't been any studies done here on the foraging turtles ever. So this is kind of the first one just to see what's going on. The team also wants to estimate the numbers of green turtles in the top end so they can be protected under territory law. It could bring further protection and potentially more funding for ranger groups to work with these turtles. Um, as they've expressed a lot of interest in that and that it is a real concern. The team have had success with this before. In 2022, they proved the Northern Territory has its own endemic species of false killer whales, allowing their conservation status to be upgraded. It is very remote. It can be very tough sea country to work in. But when you're out and about and you can record the various species you see, um, that just gives us, in many cases, the first time that information has been recorded. Like, we've got fresh diggings here from uh, wallabies and things like that. Yeah. The research trip is also a chance for rangers to swap techniques for managing the land, like how to use camera traps to monitor invasive pests. I'm just turning on the camera and we're going to um, set it up. So the more knowledge and sharing that we get from different ranger groups, 
always helps us out to try and look, manage and look after the country better. As they visit sea country around the Territory, one theme is emerging. We're seeing sea level rise, sea temp rise. We're seeing many, many changes here and it's um, going to seriously impact because we are the most northern place in Australia, the top end of the Northern Territory. On Warrawee, some traditional owners hope the plight of the turtles will help bring attention to the plight of their home. The island getting smaller and smaller. I'm worried about my families. Where's the next place that they're going to be moving when I'm gone, you know? I don't know.